Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Threat Second Swing. We've got a highly demanded iron test today, the TaylorMade P770, new in 2020. I think it's a TaylorMade P790. Uh, TaylorMade is kind of promoting this as a sibling rivalry, so this will be interesting. P770 and P790, Thomas, what do you expect out of this one? Yeah, I'm really excited to kind of test the two of them because there is a little bit difference in loft. Yeah. So I'm excited to see the distance differences, the spin differences as well, and then kind of the givenness dif differences as well. Yeah, I know the P790 has been really a rocket for people that put those in the bag. So the P770 is kind of built the same way, a little more compact. This should be a fun one. Thomas, we'll start with the P790. You got the seven iron fitting heads for both. Uh, I, this is kind of, you know, the, the sibling, so to speak, the sibling rivalry that TaylorMade is promoting here. So I'm curious about this test here. Yeah, I would expect that the 790 might, might go just a little further, but we'll yeah. kind of find out and see what happens with the numbers. Yeah, well, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. How was that? What do you think? What, pretty what's solid. The, what's yeah. the P790 verdict? I know you have or have in the past, I don't know if you still do, but play the three iron of the P790 in your bag. So I know you're familiar with the model, um, but the seven iron is, you know, a little different. It's um, not something, I know you don't play something that large as a seven iron in your bag, but what do you think about that? Definitely a distance player's iron. Yeah. Definitely distance for sure. Yeah. What, I, what I, numbers I usually see with the 790 when I've tested in the past and forgiveness as well, for sure. So. Yeah, well you mentioned the distance. I mean, that carried 197. Okay, so it's a good start. <laughs> so that's about, almost 20 yards further than you usually carry a seven. So now that's yeah. loft as well as attributed to that, but <laughs> that's still a launched seven iron. All right, well, let's see how these next few shots go. <laughs> that one, 195.8 carry. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the big, the noticeable difference at least from what I'm used to with your 7 iron, is the spin has dropped a little bit yep. with the P790 so far. That's just loft doing its job. Yeah. It's 30, 30 and a half degrees of loft on this. So that's what, two and a half difference? Compared to the 770, yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three and a half degrees stronger than my typical, my 7 iron is. Okay. Yeah. That was hit real solid. It's not drawing as much, but looks like it's maybe cutting through the wind a little bit better. Yeah, just not quite as much spin as maybe as what I'm kind of used to. Oh, it, yeah. it was still as close to 6,000 though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, 5,700 yep. there. Yep. We'll look at the dispersion for those four. And yeah, that last one just hung out to the right a little bit, not quite as much draw, but those first, yeah, I mean, those first two are right next to each other on this map here. So um, yeah, I mean, that dispersion is, your dispersion is always great, but you know, the seven iron there, hitting it 200 yards, getting it that close together is pretty, pretty insane. Now, club speed 90 and a half, ball speed 132.7, the carry was 195 on average to a 205 total. So um, that's just four shots. We'll come back to the P790 here, yep. Yep. but you know, based first initial impression in this test, is that about what you expected? Exactly, kind of what I've expected. A little bit less spin, a little more distance. Yeah. Um, so we'll hit like four shots. Four shots, come back, hit four more, yeah. hit four more, so this is a little unbiased. I'll try and keep my club speed as close to 90 and a half <laughs> yeah. as I can. Yeah. We'll see if I can do that or not. Yeah, but. absolutely. All right. Last two were better swings. Yeah, yeah those are both really good. There's that high draw. Carry there, 187. I'm gonna look at the uh, dispersion here really quickly. So, I mean, the the one out to the right, right away, yep. um, is kind of skewing things a bit, but those last three, the distance uh, consistency is pretty darn good. Um, and then we'll look at the numbers here, and I mean, that spin jumping up 600 RPM or so 
from 55.47 to 61.66. Uh, smash factor dropping from 147 to 143. That's, again, a lot of that is attributed to the loft. Loft, yep. Um, so you're overall losing eight yards of carry and 10 yards of total from the P790 to the P770. So, I mean, again, and that's a lot of it's loft, but also the construction of the club being more compact, with the P770, and then a larger, thicker club head with the P790 as well. Yeah, a little bit more forgiving on those on those miss hits, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, let's go back to the P790 for four shots and okay. see how this data transforms. good yeah another solid strike numbers are pretty good 198.6 carry there look back at the table really quick and I can definitely notice the larger profile looking down at between the oh, two yeah. for sure I would imagine I mean I think that top line there's a pretty stark difference it's just a little bit thicker as I mean 790 is not that not that bad at all yeah. um, I've always I've liked the 790s a lot if I wasn't maybe quite as good a bull striker as I am, yeah. 790 is a very, very good club from what, what I've kind of noticed the last couple of years in fitting. Mm -hmm. The reason why I played is my driving iron because right. it's just a good looking, good, good looking golf club. Yeah, those, uh, you know, in your fittings, I'm sure the P790s are a favorite. I know one of my close buddies actually got a set of P790s as well and loves them. Uh, and they perform really well. They, they don't look like a ginormous game improvement yeah. iron. But they, you know, they, they, first of all, they bomb the ball, right? Yeah. I mean, and they, they feel solid, which a lot of players like that solid, more maybe loud sound as well. Um, just quickly looking at the numbers from the P790 shots there. Overall, from now eight shots, the spin is 56, 66 okay. on average. Carry is 194.7, total 204.6. So, again, a little bit, nothing change too much from the first four but yep. those are sort of the numbers you'd expect that one four six match is kind of fun to look at but <laughs> for a seven iron that's just loft right there yeah Pretty solid right there. It's a good golf shot. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Yeah, I mean, look at the the spin really quick, and then you know uh, we're seeing about a 500 RPM difference in total. Okay. So, I mean, that's I guess not. There might be a couple of outliers in there too, but yeah, yeah there was in in general, Loft is doing its job. The right. yeah. Um, P790 is going to spin last and go further because it's yeah. got 30 and a half degrees of loft versus the P770, which has got 33 degrees right. of loft. Right, exactly. And yep. I mean, that generates difference in carry distance, total distance too. That's six yards difference in carry, eight difference in total. Um, but yeah, that's just on the surface. I can give you the data here and we okay. can uh, break it down a little bit further. Let's take a look. Okay, Thomas, you got the data. Um, any big major differences? Uh, I mean, there is a difference, but is there anything that jumps off uh, the page to you? Yeah, so kind of taking a look at numbers, kind of working away kind of left to right real quickly. Club speed, basically 91 miles an hour with the 790, 92 miles an hour with the 770. So I was singing, winging the 7, 7, P770 just a little bit faster. Yeah. Maybe that was just me just trying to keep up with the 790. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but one mile an hour difference. Yeah. Um, Which isn't a huge difference. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that one mile an hour is not a humongous, it's not going to make a humongous impact on the yeah. data. But when it comes to bull speed, it flip flops. So, bull speed number with the P790 is 133. Bull speed number with the P770 is 131. So, that's where the flip flop is, and yeah. that's where it comes down to the loft differences yeah. a little bit. 
30 and a half degrees aloft, 790, it got a little more bowl speed. 33 degrees aloft with the 770, got a little bit less bowl speed. Mm -hmm. And that's where you see that efficiency, that smash factor number. I know you mentioned there was a 149 or a 148 with the 7, yeah. 790. You're going to get that when you have a stronger lofted golf yeah. club. The stronger the loft is on any, any golf club, the better efficiency number you can generate. Yeah. Um, and then that also resembles in spin as well. So we noticed the spin, I think we talked about five to 600 yeah. RPM difference there. 5,500 versus 6,100. So about six, 600 RPMs difference. P790 was spinning 5,500. The P770 was spinning 6,100. Okay. So it's just kind of loft doing, doing its job there. And then distance wise, the P790, it goes so far. Yeah. Um, 196 carry going 206. So very, very good numbers. I've raved about the P790s for the last yeah. couple years, how distance players are, are in category. I love that club a lot. Uh, worked really well for my for my customers that have come in to, to fit for sure. Yeah. Um, P770 doesn't go quite as far because it's got one, got a little more loft on it. Um, and also it's gonna spin a little bit more there as well. So yeah. that's why it was going about seven yards shorter. Okay. Um, 196 to 189, so six to seven yards essentially, uh, and then total distance 197 because there's a little bit more spin. Uh, so kind of interesting numbers with regards to that. Um, the interesting thing is the height difference, very very similar again. Now I was hitting, in, I'm hitting to a pretty sizable breeze here, yeah. so I'm not trying to hit it really high today. Yeah. But I was, my height was still 96.2 to 99 feet in the air. Okay. Um, so very, very similar yeah. regards to height between the two of them as well. So kind of really interesting numbers to take a look at there. Um, one other thing I kind of want to touch on is dispersion. So if we look at the dispersion pattern between the two of them, you notice the blue circle, that was the P790. So I expanded it up here on the screen. You'll notice a little bit larger color. Yeah. Um, that's going to happen when you hit the ball a little bit further. Yeah. But I did have a group, good grouping of four very well struck shots with the P7, P790s. Other ones were just a little bit shorter, short right, yeah. um, but forgiving essentially. Yeah. The 770 was pretty impressive. So the one, the circle was smaller. I would maybe expect that with a little bit less yeah. distance. But you can see how all the, all the dots were a lot closer together. So dispersion with both of them pretty good, but you can see that the 770 maybe won out just a little, yeah. little bit more because it wasn't maybe going quite as far. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, we know that now in, in some of these fittings and stuff, if you're gonna hit the ball shorter with whatever club, you're gonna have more control and the dispersion will be smaller. But, um, there's a pretty sizable difference there. And one thing I wanted to ask you about too is, I mean, this is just your stock seven iron swing, so you're not trying to work the ball one way or the other. Yep. Um, but, did you notice maybe the possibility or maybe more curve, maybe more um, change in the flight path with the 770 to the 790? Because I believe, you know, with the smaller club shape there, you should be able to work it just a little bit more with the P770. I did notice, you know, when I wasn't, definitely wasn't trying to work the ball today because right. the wind, I was trying to keep it pretty, pretty straight. Yeah. I did notice with the 770, it was a little bit harder for me to keep under the wind. Yeah. So a couple that just kind of, just kind of ballooned up a little bit. Now we have this on the normalization button a little yeah. bit. It's wind now gusting probably 20 miles an hour. Yeah. So it's, 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 uh, it's being a little challenging. There was a couple that did rise a little bit more. Yeah. With the 790, there were a couple that just kind of kept going through yeah. the wind for sure. And kind of like, piercing through yeah. that wind a little bit. And that. that was those four shots that I talked about that were just got, went a little bit further. Yeah. Maybe the wind died down a little bit or I just yeah. kind of get that little piercing through the wind. Um, so spin for sure yeah. once again. With the 790, you may get the occasional one that might just kind of jump and go a little bit further. Yeah. The 770, you'll notice the dispersion was a little bit more consistent um, with regards to carry distance. Yeah. So I, that's just a little bit more reliable for those better players. Yeah, I think you know there's a possibility here just looking at these that you know any manufacturer out there kind of builds their irons nowadays to be able to blend as a combo set. You can almost see the possibility of one even here with you know maybe at the top of the set P790, bottom of the set P770, or you could even mix in some of those newer models as well Taylor Made has in that P700 series, MC and the MB as well. So a lot of possibilities here, but I think the performance speaks for itself. These are pretty good irons right there that, uh, you know, P790 has been out for about a year. 
the 2019 model and then the P770 adding to it. It's pretty solid. Yeah, this is a great comparison of two great iron models. One is a little more distance player's iron, one's just a little bit more of kind of that cavity kind of player's category, essentially. Yep. Absolutely. Well, golfers, if you're interested in one of these models, you can speak to somebody like Thomas at a Second Swing store or contact our online fitting team as well and get you set up for some new irons that should definitely help you hit more greens and score better.